Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. SIPSAC is a command line tool used for SIP testing and troubleshooting. It is designed to send different type of SIP request to a SIP server. Previously I introduced CP and how we can use that to test our SIP infrastructure. The link can be found in the video description and today we will learn how to work with SIPSAC tool. Let's see how we can use CP to ping our server, but not a normal ping. We want to send SIP options. When you want to check network connectivity to a server or to a host, you usually use ping, right? Ping and then the IP address. But when we want to test the SIP connectivity to our SIP server, we can use SIPSAC by sending SIP options. It can be simply done by using the dash s switch and if we want to increase verbosity we can use dash vvv command. Let's test it with our Camellio SIP server. In order to get familiar with SIPSAC I prepared a SIP server. I have installed Camellio here but it can be any other SIP server, Asterisk, Free Switch, Open SIPs or any other uh, SIP server. And I have installed SIPSAC on my Mac OS. It can be easily installed uh, in Linux as well. Uh, you can find the installation steps on the internet, so I don't explain how to install SIPSAC because it's very straightforward. And let's uh, test SIP option. I want to send a SIP option from Mac, from my Mac device uh, to my uh, Camellio server in the cloud. And test the SIP connectivity. Of course, I can ping it using the normal ping to see if I have the network connectivity using the ping command. But sometimes you can ping the server, but for example, you cannot register your soft phone or you cannot uh, send an invite. So in order to test the SIP connectivity, SIPSAC is the right tool to go to. So let's send a uh, SIP option commands. In order to see that, let me run Camellio first on my server and run SNGREP. If you don't know what is it, check my videos. And then let's send a SIP option, SIPSAC s to my IP address. Sorry, what was my IP address? Yeah, this is the IP address. You need to uh, use sipsac-s, then sip, and the IP address. As you can see, I have received a sip option. Let's explore that. I have received sip options from sipsac at local IP address. Of course, all these uh, parameters can be changed that we explore more in the next section. Now that you are familiar with the SIPSAC, let's go with more complex example. SIPSAC has different modes. For example, dash U activates the user lock mode. It is used to perform user location testing. User location is a fundamental aspect of SIP communication. It involves the registration and tracking of user's location by a SIP registrar server. In order to test this scenario, I prepared the Asterisk server with uh, multiple users. For example, here I have a Twilio user that is already registered. It means that my server knows what is the location of this peer. Also, I have created another user uh, with username of uh, 555 and this secret that, as you can see, the location is not specified, is unspecified. So uh, my server doesn't know where is uh, this endpoint, or let's say it's not registered. If you, for example, use a Zoiper to register into our Asterisk server, then you will see the IP address of uh, the client or your laptop here. Now I want to use SIPSAC to tell my Asterisk server that the location of the user 555 is uh, the IP address that I'm specifying. So here is our lab. This is my Asterisk server on the cloud. And here is my Mac with SIPSAC installed. 
I want to send a register packet. First, let's send a register packet without authentication. Of course, my server needs authentication, so it will reject it. Uh, but let's try it. In order to do that, we can use this command. sipsack u then dash s, username, and the IP address of my server. So let's send a zip register and see what's happening on, my, on our server. A register is sent. Let's click on the register packet. So a zip register request is sent with the username to our IP address. And of course, our server, based on the default mechanism, asks for the option. But here, because we didn't use uh, the necessary commands in search to send our password, it then sends again the register. And of course, because we don't have a password, we don't have the correct password, then the server gives us forbidden. So if I run again, asterisk rx sip show peers, we can see my location is still unspecified. It means that the server didn't accept the register request. Also, we can see that on the console as well. Let's connect to the console. And send another, same the same request again. As you can see, in the Asterisk console, we can see that registration from uh, SIP this IP address failed for this IP address because the username and password are mismatched because we didn't pass any password. Let's now send a SIP register request with the password. So in order to do that, we can use this command. I already copied the command. All the commands are in my GitHub and the link will be in the video description. So we can use sipsack dash u and then dash a, uh, the password of the SIP username. Let's see what is our SIP password for user 5555. I can use the command asterisk dash rx SIP show users to see what is my password. This is my secret. So I will copy and paste instead of my pass. Also the username or our SIP username is 5555, I will replace here with 5555 as well. And let's run SNGREP now and see what will happen. If I send a, uh, so now I receive the register packet. Let's get register packet. And this time, as you can see, the first time I'm sending register, the server based on the default behavior asks for the authorization, asks for the password. And now I'm sending the, again, I'm sending the uh, register with the correct password. And as you can see, I got 200 OK from my server. In order to verify that, I can use the command asterisk rx sip show peers as well. And as you can see, now the host is the IP address of uh, my internet, the IP address that I'm using to uh, send the packet from CP. So in a way, I can fake the registration or I can test my registration and uh, tell my Azure server what is the location of this server. This is something that you can use for a lot of security testings as well. And also imagine how easy, to, how easy it is to write a script uh, that call the CP to test uh, the registration or do a, something like a brute force on the SIP. Another interesting mode in SIPSAC is invite mode. We can send SIP invites with SIPSAC. But the interesting thing is that we can combine it with dash u or the user lock mode. It means that with one command, we can register ourselves as a SIP user authenticate ourselves, and at the same time, send an invite to any destination that we want. For example, here, with this command, uh, I can register myself with the user of 5555 
with the provided password and then I can send an invite to extension 666 at my SIP server. So uh, with my SIP stack, I will send a SIP invite. Also, I will authenticate my invite and then I can call 666 extension in my ASRI server. And lastly, before I want to finish this video, I want to uh, mention some useful switches. As you know, sipsac-h will give you um, help and all the commands and samples that I used and I explained here. Also, another very uh, useful uh, switch is dash j that we can use to add additional headers to our SIP requests. It's very useful, for example, for the testing and also if you want to uh, troubleshoot or if you want to program a SIP application and you need to add a header, then you can uh, use the SIP stack to add that header. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this is useful and see you in the next video.